Welcome back to our channel. Today, we continue our deep dive into the world of dark psychological tactics used in relationships, focusing particularly on strategies that some women use to subtly influence and manipulate men, especially older men. These tactics are designed to subtly shape or control the dynamics of relationships. Understanding these methods is crucial for navigating complex romantic interactions with greater awareness. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share to help us bring more enlightening content your way. Let's explore eight more sophisticated tactics. Number one, emotional anchoring. Emotional anchoring involves a woman linking positive or romantic feelings to specific experiences or tokens, thereby creating emotional triggers that can influence a man's feelings and decisions. Observe if she gives sentimental gifts or frequently revisits memories that evoke strong emotional responses, aiming to anchor these positive feelings to her presence. For example, she might remind you of an anniversary or a special moment you shared whenever she senses you are pulling away, thereby using emotional anchors to pull you back emotionally. Number two, faux vulnerability. Faux vulnerability is when a woman pretends to be vulnerable or helpless to tap into a man's protective instincts, compelling him to offer support and diverting attention from her manipulative behaviours. Watch for moments when her displays of vulnerability seem time to coincide with her needing something from you or when you are upset with her. She might appear unusually distressed or incapable of solving a problem she would normally handle herself especially when she notices you are upset or distancing yourself. Number three, benevolent manipulation. Benevolent manipulation involves a woman performing acts of kindness or generosity with the hidden intent of influencing a man's actions or decisions. Notice if her acts of kindness are followed by subtle requests or expectations for certain behaviors, painting her in a continually positive light while obligating you to reciprocate beyond normal expectations. She might offer to help you with a major project and later use this as leverage to influence your decisions or expectations, like where you spend your holidays or how you allocate your time. Number four, covert contracts. Covert contracts are unspoken agreements where a woman expects specific returns for her actions or affections, which are not openly discussed but implied. Be mindful of situations where she appears to give freely, but seems to hold an expectation of a return that she hasn't clearly communicated. For instance, she might treat you to a luxurious trip or gift and later express disappointment when you don't reciprocate in a way she deems appropriate, revealing the covert contract. Number five, hypercriticism. Hypercriticism involves a woman frequently criticizing or nitpicking a man to erode his self-esteem, making him more reliant on her approval and validation. Pay attention to how often she critiques your actions, choices, or even your personality, and whether this makes you feel the need to prove your worth to her. She might comment negatively on everything from how you dress to how you handle your finances, subtly undermining your confidence while increasing your dependency on her judgment. Number six, prescriptive reinforcement. Prescriptive reinforcement is used to shape a man's behavior by explicitly rewarding actions that align with her desires, similar to training through a reward system. Look for patterns where her affection or approval is clearly contingent on you acting in specific ways that she favors. She might be exceptionally supportive and loving when you spend time with her family or invest in her interests, but cold and distant when you prioritize your own family or hobbies. Number seven, charm offensives. Charm offensives involve a woman using her charisma and allure to distract from her manipulative behaviors making it difficult for the man to address or even notice them. Observe if she becomes particularly charming or seductive when you begin to show signs of questioning her actions or motives. She might flirtatiously distract you when you ask difficult questions about her spending habits or her other relationships, using her charm to deflect scrutiny. Number eight, guilt by association. Guilt by association is a tactic where a woman associates her actions or desires with culturally or morally significant themes to compel a man to comply out of guilt or obligation. 
Notice if she frames her requests or behaviours within the context of family values, cultural expectations or moral obligations, making it challenging for you to refuse without feeling guilty. She might insist that spending less time with your friends and more with her is what a good partner does, leveraging societal norms to guilt you into compliance. As we peel back the layers of these complex psychological tactics, it's crucial to approach these insights with the aim of fostering healthier, more transparent interactions. If you recognize these dynamics in your relationships, understanding their mechanics can help you navigate them more effectively. Thank you for watching and please subscribe if you found this content insightful. Feel free to share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. We value your interaction. Stay informed and empowered in your relationships.